continuous operation here in Chester since 1942. Um, and we <clears throat> manage our forests on a, ba on a sustained yield basis. We never cut more than we grow. We were in uh, continuous operation from the forest to this mill for those 80 years, 79 years. And then Dixie Fire hit us in, in um, July and August of 2021. So we are in a different um, framework now. We have to heal the lands and start regrowing the trees back on it. This was a fire break. It's hard to tell that it was a fire break because Caltrans has come in now and removed the trees that were hazardous to the highways. 54,000 acres out of 95,000 acres are in the footprint. Not all of it is black. So we have areas about 30,000 acres that are black. They are 100% dead. All trees are dead. In other areas, we have islands of green within a greater sea of black. Trees are still reacting and they will for quite a while. So will other agents of demise like insects that attack fire weakened trees or even drought weakened trees. So we will see continued mortality in the tree remaining trees over the next several years as things finally kind of shake out and the trees adjust to the new paradigm. This is an acre or more than one that suffered catastrophic effect of the fire. All the trees that are behind me, with the exception of one, are dead. And the one with very little green in it is the top of that ponderosa pine in the background there is very little green. Uh, ponderosa pine is probably about 24 inches diameter breast height, which is four and a half feet above the ground, just about 24 inches in diameter. This tree is severely damaged by the fire. It is dead, it will not uh, re-sprout or regrow. It's dead from top to bottom, underground too. Generally, we have between seven and maybe 18 months before these trees will turn blue on the inside, and it's the lumber turning blue. So we got a, we have to, we got a lot of work to do. We're moving the pine as fast as we can because we know it turns blue. Our own sawmill has a backlog associated with. We can only consume so much per year. We have. 10 to 15 years worth of material that is dead like the stuff behind me such that we will not be able to consume it all in the mill before it is rotten. There is also a consumption issue associated with the, the biomass so not just saw logs but also biomass. Trees that are not sufficiently large enough to be saw logs can be turned into biomass and then turned into electricity in a biomass plant. So we have two major bottlenecks in terms of consumptive capacity, insufficient sawmill capacity and insufficient biomass capacity, such that the result will be that not every acre will be salvaged. There will be dead trees left standing on a considerable number of the acres. There's simply too much. It's really complicated, it's long-term. So will, will, will the state do enough? I think, I think we have to. We're faced with a very stark choice. We have to do something and manage our forest to reduce the fuel loading on the landscape or we end up with fires that look like this. It's a really stark choice.